Once you have your Firebug installed, the next step is to download and connect it with the app. Today we're going to use an Android device, but an iOS, Apple phone or tablet would be very similar. So since we're in Android, we're going to go to the Play Store. Obviously, if we were using iOS, we'd be going to the App Store. And you want to search for the apps. Uh, what we want is iFlame, first one that comes up. So let's click on that tile. And it's asking us, do we want to install the app? The answer is yes. So once you see the open come up, just click on that tile. And it's going to bring up the app. Now what we have to do first is to create an account. So this screen will show up many times for login, but for create an account, just click on that. It's asking us for a username. Just be sure that in the username and the password that you don't leave any spaces. Uh, so let's just have a username. Let's just go uh, warehouse, since that's where we're doing this quick video. And then it's going to ask us for a password. You can use uppercase, lowercase, numerals. And then next, we want to go to email. And we'll just type in my email. Now in the sign up process, to be sure that each account is unique and it's very secure, you're going to get the request to put in a confirmation code. And that confirmation code is going to be sent to the email address that we just typed in. Now, you can switch back and forth on your phone to get your email. If you're very adept at that, that's great. But I find often it's a good idea to have a secondary device handy. Uh, it just makes it simple to get to that email quickly. And you've got 90 seconds to do this. And that's not, that's not a real push, but it's don't go off and get a cup of coffee or anything because 90 seconds later it's got to be in there. And again, that's just for security. So here you can see I got an email from iCloud. And it gives me my confirmation number. So let's type that in and hit confirm. Success. Warehouse has been confirmed. Now, it's going to ask us for what zone we're in. And zones is very beneficial for you. As you can see, I have home, I have office. Um, a lot of people use that for a secondary home or different locations, indoor, outdoor products, whatever. But let's add the zone here quickly. Now, it's going to ask you, can you use it all the time? Or can you have a location only when you're using the app? Or deny if you hit deny, it's not going to let you go forward. You're not going to be able to use the app. That's not necessary in iOS, but for Android, that does require that you give it location access. So let's say only when using the app. Now here, my GPS is not turned on. And that's on purpose. GPS will automatically find your address. But if for some reason it's not, then you can go in and do it manually. So we're going to do that right quick. So for inner zone, we called it warehouse. So I'm just going to call it warehouse again. And then it's asking for zone location. And then it's going to ask us for that zone address and hit done. And it asks you, do you want to add that zone? And yes. So now I have the zone called warehouse. So let's click on that. And it asks to pair your remote. Now here's the coolest thing. This automatically finds that remote. We call it tap and go. You don't really have to directly touch it, but if you're within a couple of feet of your remote, and that's why we do say tap and go, but just get within a couple of feet of it, it'll automatically find that remote and bring a picture up for you. So since we're using the Firebug, there it is. It says name your fireplace. Let's just call it, uh, well, let's just do Great Room. And Firebug series, serial numbers optional, one, two, three, four, five. Next, it's going to ask company that you purchased it from. We're just going to use Flame Tech and done. Now it's asking us to connect. So when you do that, it searches for it. Immediately it found it. It tells you that the Bluetooth is on and working. Let's click on the tile that says Great Room. It's making that final connection. And now it's going to give you operations. So with the Firebug, it's an on-off remote that's powered from your smart device. So right now, it's on, you can see the flame, and you can see the embers start to fly. Anytime that unit's on, you'll see embers in the background. Let's turn it off, immediately the embers stop, and your flame goes away. So on, you see the flame pop up. Momentarily, you'll see embers start to fly as they're coming up from the bottom of the screen. And that's handy. Say you um, went to bed, you thought, did I turn the fireplace off or not? Rather than getting up and going downstairs to look, you can just reach over and look at your phone and it'll give you a visual response whether it's on or whether it's off. So let's go off again. We also have battery. 
here. It's got a battery monitor, very similar to what a cell phone would have. So it gives you the countdown, tells you when it's time to replace a battery. Uh, and then you have settings. The settings allow you to do things like turn on and off your Bluetooth. It, it gives you the opportunity to hook it up to a hub if you want so that you can do things like Alexa voice control or Google. And it also gives you an option to change between Fahrenheit and Celsius as far as temperature reporting. Once those things have been changed, then it goes back in, brings it up, and one last time, on, flame comes on, embers start to fly. You'll see them coming up from the bottom of the screen. And then when you're ready to turn off, just press off.